Welcome to the microscopic world of sperm cells. These tiny but mighty cells are responsible for fertilization, the beginning of life. Let's explore their structure and the functions of their various parts. The head is the most recognizable part of a sperm cell. It houses two critical components, the nucleus and the acrosomal cap. Nucleus. The nucleus contains the genetic material, the DNA, which is passed on to the offspring. It's like a tiny library holding all the blueprints for the new life. Acrosomal cap. The acrosomal cap is a specialized structure located at the tip of the head. It contains enzymes that help the sperm cell penetrate the egg during fertilization. It's like a key that unlocks the egg. The neck. The neck is a short, narrow region connecting the head to the middle piece. It houses two important structures, the centriole and the dense fibers. Centriole. The centriole plays a crucial role in cell division. It helps organize the spindle fibers during cell division, ensuring that the chromosomes are properly distributed to the daughter cells. Dense fibers. The dense fibers provide structural support to the neck region. They help maintain the shape and integrity of the sperm cell. The middle piece. The middle piece is the powerhouse of the sperm cell. It contains mitochondria, which are responsible for generating energy in the form of ATP. This energy is essential for powering the sperm cell's movement. The tail, flagellum. The tail, also known as the flagellum, is the longest part of the sperm cell. It's responsible for propelling the sperm cell towards the egg. It's like a tiny motor, allowing the sperm to swim through the female reproductive tract. Each part of the sperm cell plays a vital role in its journey to fertilize the egg. The head carries the genetic material. The neck provides structural support. The middle piece generates energy and the tail propels the cell forward. Together, these components make the sperm cell a remarkable example of biological engineering.